Kubor Kabate Si TV. Lawan rasa pi tak orange nisan lum so po ni fire brigade silong ringkat bag net foodish. Order mapi nin wan ramangi hacker dob ying jompi. Mentaka sungi ka prateri ku pena jeleo arajar arpuwei ke ladon ke jingyalang hapdeng u CMD jong ke MEECL bat u Menteri Ketenat Sam Boarding u James P.K. Sangma ban yakren halor ke jingtemu aywa yiki arteli ki circle jong ke MEECL sya ke company Shimed. Hagani ke jingyalang ke ladon ke jingya teriatai ke babanya kumno ban ay jingmut syaka sorkar ha ka ba u James u lapun sengau balada am ay wai ka sorkar kan hap ban kit ya ka ram ka bahadu syihajar lai sepak sapusan kelor tengka bat na lor ka hap ban seo tam sa san sepak prapoh kelor tengka haki syiphos nem ki ban sawan henre lada ka ay wai pat ka sorkar kan kamsting bat ka MEECL kan hap ban mi arpusan persen na ka ram ba hap ban seo leng ba ka jing ay wai Kila don bon ki jing ay jing mut haka ni ka jing ya lang bat haka jing ya keren la sengau to baka dao ba mi ka sur ban ay wai ka day namar baka tenat pula tengka jong ka sorkar jela kam pediang baka sorkar kan kit barok syirin yang ya katai ka ram henrei ha barok ki jing ya keren la sengau to baka rai ka bakat do ki nab lasyai ka sengi ka kendai terik upanai jeleo arajar arpuwey baka don ka jing ya lang jong ka kenhon ki menteri sorkar lani ka kabinet meeting bakin shim ya ka rai ka bakat do as we are all aware, we are all conversant with the fact that uh, uh, Meghalaya has been facing a lot of issues regarding the outstanding dues uh, which uh, are towards the, the central power generating stations, the central power transmission st uh, co companies. And uh, these um, outstanding dues till the month of March 2020 stood at an approximate figure of 1,345 crores, which is inclusive of delayed payment surcharge at the rate of 18%. Uh, because of these outstanding dues um, and uh, because of the fact that uh, many of these central power generating stations and these transmission companies were also facing a lot of financial stress, uh, it resulted in a lot of problems in terms of regulation of power um, which Meghalaya had to unfortunately face because of which there were no shedding issues. And um, at that point of time, the government of India came out with the Atman Nirbhar loan and uh, this was a special one-time assistance, loan assistance which was offered by the government of India. Uh, for distribution companies which had huge outstanding dues to these uh, uh, central power generating and central power transmission companies. As we all know that uh, Meghalaya as a state uh, was among the northeastern states the highest uh, defaulter in terms of outstanding dues to these central uh, power uh, generating and transmission companies and um, when the Atman Nirbhan loan came it offered an opportunity to government of Meghalaya to the discount to avail this loan at 9.5% rate of interest with a 3 year moratorium on the principal amount and uh, this is, was a very good opportunity whereby we could uh, not just uh, we, uh, we could just clear off all our outstanding dues but also clear them off at a very nominal rate of interest which is at 9.5% compared to the kind of delayed payment charges at a rate of 18% that we were paying the, uh, the uh, generating companies. So um, looking at all these factors and also the factor that uh, these generating companies were regulating power and as we all know that this was a very difficult time, examinations were going on. So the government took a conscientious um, decision that uh, we take and avail this loan so that we can clear off the outstanding dues to the companies and write off all these uh, debts. Uh, the 
process to which uh, followed up after we took the decision to take up the loan is that uh, we uh, somebody had to stand in guarantee for that loan and 100% guarantee was sought by the uh, REC, uh, PDC, REC PDCL and by the PFC. Uh, the two companies which were which were, were to uh, disperse the loan to our uh, discount. When it came to the guarantee part, uh, the state government had to stand guarantee through budgetary provisions for 100% of the uh, 1345 loan. Now, uh, in that uh, situation, um, finance, uh, the government of Meghalaya and the, uh, the government of India, uh, we discussed this issue and uh, uh, in the beginning 100% uh, of uh, state guarantee was sought and in that situation uh, the discussions kept, uh, kept on going on between government of India and government of Meghalaya regarding this budgetary provision and um, uh, the views were sought of the, uh, the power department and the MCL and um, the government um, uh, mentioned, uh, stated that the 100% of uh, budgetary provision in terms of uh, the uh, guarantee would not be possible and we maintained uh, and we requested and we urged the government at that time itself that we would, uh, uh, you know, would like that the government should give this 100% uh, guarantee and uh, when the negotiations started between government of Meghalaya and REC and P PFC, uh, it was suggested that uh, uh, the government give 50% uh, uh, of um, budgetary finance and 50% of DA. So on and so forth, the discussions started taking place and negotiations started taking place in terms of uh, certain amount in budgetary finance, uh, budgetary provisions and certain amount in terms of the distribution franchising. Um, our opinion was sought, the power department uh, made it very clear right from the beginning that uh, uh, we urged the government that 100% budgetary finance should be, budgetary provision should be given and guarantee should be given and uh, we were opposed to the idea of the distribution franchisee. So this discussion has been going on for all these months and um, the Chief Minister has, uh, has convened a meeting of the Cabinet to discuss this matter so that we can take a final decision on this matter. Um, today, um, I have just gone and met Honorable Chief Minister before the decision is to be taken tomorrow and um, uh, as you all know, the association of um, the MCL led by, this delegation was led by our respected uh, CMD of the MCL and they met me today in the afternoon and they also have placed before me and requested me that um, the matter of distribution franchisee should be avoided and we should uh, go for 100% budgetary provision. Uh, and 100% uh, state guarantee. So this was uh, brought to me and I have accordingly uh, met the Honorable Chief Minister today and I have also again once again uh, stressed upon and urged upon him to um, looking at the, the fact that the MECL is very much um, capable uh, with good officers and with uh, leadership like the present CMD, that they are capable of managing these uh, these circles, and uh, we do not need to give this uh, distribution franchising because uh, MBCL would stand to lose in the long run. And um, I have uh, urged upon the honourable chief minister today. So the meeting is going to take place tomorrow, and uh, I've had a very very positive meeting with him, and he has. Um, um, assured me that he will definitely be looking into uh, this matter 
and uh, you know before we come to a decision tomorrow we will take up this matter in a meeting and discuss this with our cabinet colleagues and uh, i am very positive of uh, the discussions that we've had with our chief minister so um, i just want to um, you know uh, say this that uh, today it is very important that uh, uh, the nsc um, uh, the kind of uh, directions that reforms are taking we are very positive that we will see uh, an active turn around in the future and i have assured the honorable chief minister that um, that the msc will be um, moving in that direction as uh, one team as unitedly to achieve the goal of turning around the msc as i said uh, we are um, we are very confident today that uh, MCL has the capability to bring around a turnaround, and we are seeing it move in that direction with the kind of reforms that are being put in place. Um, we understand the point of view of the finance department also that uh, this has been um, um, a situation which keeps coming up, wherein um, certain uh, problems come up, and we have to. Uh, the Discom has to turn to the state government for support. Um, I hope that it does not come to that, and I hope that uh, we uh, are given this chance. The Discom is given this chance to prove themselves, and I'm very sure that certain conditions may be put. And um, uh, I have discussed this matter with uh, the uh, engineers of MSCL, and uh, they are assuring us of uh, complete support so that we move in one direction unitedly to work for the turnaround of MSCL. Uh, budgetary support um, um, provisions for the state guarantee has to be given and uh, the choice was very simple that uh, either the government gives 100% of, uh, of uh, state guarantee for this <coughs> or uh, the government you know, uh, passes on some of this uh, to the MECL. So when you spoke about, when we spoke about uh, passing on some of this uh, guarantee to MSCL, um, this suggestion was brought by the REC that uh, why not explore uh, you know, outsourcing the uh, distribution in terms of distribution franchise to the REC, uh, PTCL. And um, this was you know, proposed by them itself. And we flatly said no to it right from the beginning, the power department and the MECL in consultation with the MECL. But uh, this is something that's been going uh, to and fro and um, this has been uh, lingering for quite some time. But today we have again, once again, requested the Chief Minister to uh, put a stop to this and, uh, you know, but, uh, and to make sure that uh, the government gives that 100% uh, state guarantee. But whose idea was this? Was it to outsource uh, uh, distribution centers? So uh, the genesis of this pre-condition came about looking at the financial situation of NSL. NSL's uh, annual revenue is around 900 crore, whereas our loan itself is 1345 crore. So RSC felt that RSC, EFC, and MOP they felt that we are not in a position to reach, uh, repay the loan, service the debt. So that's why they put this additional conditionality of 25% distribution franchise. Should it take place, uh, Meghalaya, Meghalaya will be the first state to have given this distribution circle as uh, a distribution franchise uh, under the Article mm -hmm. Will be the first state. Now, the you know, if you look at the injection, uh, the, the the circles in governments, uh, distribution franchises are already operating, as you all know, in Dalu, Nawadhibra, and in body. So um, these distribution uh, circles are already there. There is 19% total injection for carbocals. Out of the uh, total 100%, only 19% is, huh? no, 19%. 19% is total injection of carbocals. Out of the 19%, 25% of that 19% is already under these DFs. So if you minus that uh, 25% out of 19%, you're left with 14%. So now, if you look at uh, if uh, if we are talking about 25% of injection that is required by uh, RECPDCL um, in terms of the Atmanirbhar loan as 
as a guarantee. So we can only, if we were to give 100% also, that would only constitute to what 14%. So it does not make sense, even though the uh, ATNC losses may be uh, much higher in Congress. So even if we were to give entire 100% of that 19%, which includes 25 plus, you know, the remaining 14% injection, that would only amount to 14%. So it does not make sense. Uh, what RIC has asked is, they want 100% state guarantee. That 100% state guarantee can be in the form of 75% budgetary provision, which the government creates, plus 25% in the form of a distribution franchisee being leased out to RIC PDCL, right? So their lookout is only 100% budget, uh, you know, state guarantee. Once we give them 100% of state guarantee, we are hopeful that, you know, that that resolves that problem. This is a state guarantee that is being sought. So a guarantee is usually a situation wherein, you know, it's like any loan um, is to be guaranteed by a third party. The loan is being taken by any sale and the government stands guarantee for that. So the guarantee basically means that if the MECL were to default, then the guarantor guarantees that they will, uh, in place of MECL, make the repayments. So that is one. Um, now to answer your question in terms of whether the state is capable or not, that is of course for the finance to say I am not the right person to uh, reply or give an answer to that, you know, whether it is capable. I'm, um, I can only say that um, state governments do give such kind of guarantees against such kind of loans and the state government has been giving on multiple occasions. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that yes, we, uh, you know, the finance will be, but again, you know, that is with an idea that I'm not a person to be replying on behalf of the finance department. To answer your question, um, the turnaround is something that we are already in the process of. As you know, that there are several EAPs. Uh, you know, we have ADB funded projects, we have uh, World Bank funded projects, we have uh, JICA funded projects, we have um, centrally sponsored schemes by the government of India, which are already in the stage of implementation. And uh, these schemes have been put into use for. Um, distribution uh, sector system improvement for um, you know improvement in our generation um, so all these kind of um, you know uh, interventions which have been put in place are the turnaround that we are talking about it's already the, the cogs of the wheel are already in motion and uh, we, uh, we we need time you know no turnaround can take place immediately that is the only thing that you know this sort of motion will bear results and we hope that uh, you know it will happen soon and that is why uh, I you know um, you know have been assured by the engineers in MECL by the CMD that uh, they will be able to achieve this turnaround because it is already in motion. So that's only a plan B. Uh, we, we are hopeful that such a condition will never arise as uh, uh, the turnaround plan is already in motion and within six months I think we will be able to uh, achieve the operational efficiency and when that happens we will be able to service the debt assets without resorting to financial without defaulting, without defaulting, without asking for the government support. And Ms. MCL is optimistic of uh, repaying the loan? Absolutely. Yeah. So repayment is 120 crore in the first three years and 300 crore after the three years for a period of 10 years. So, um, <laughs> I have been briefed on this matter by RCMD and by the Power Department, by Secretary Power. And uh, we are discussing this at the level of the government. It's not easy. It's, it's not going to be easy, but then we are uh, very sympathetic to the plight of the pensioners. And this is something which has been disallowed by the Regulatory Commission. So it's not a simple matter, it's very complicated. But we are trying to work together to find a solution. What is the main problem? Why it is stopped? As I said, the regulatory commission has disallowed, uh, you know, passing on the uh, the, the pension through, uh, um, you know, through the tariff. So the pension cannot be passed on through the tariff. So that 
uh, earlier that is what used to be uh, you know, the practice. But now because of this, um, uh, it has complicated the situation. Will they be getting pension? That's what, we are in the process of discussion and we are trying to find a solution to this. It's not easy, but we are trying. Thank you.